I'm gonna have my nuggets ready. <laughs> Back chat, of course, powered by Fleet Network, and we have travelled the furthest north. Most people have been here on the team. People were bringing eskies full of food yeah, and, and the supplies. Hell there was search and rescue helicopters going up over the floor. <laughs> yeah. we where are, are we going? We're up in Hocking, where and we're we? sitting in front of my pool. Dad's yeah. dad's, dad's pool. Dad's dad's <laughs> pool. <laughs> dad's dad's pool. Dad's dad's pool. Uh, look, it no, was green. It, it was green about a week and a half ago. I've cleaned it. It looks... What do you guys think? It looks pretty oh, good. Mate, it's beautiful. It's mate, a good looking I thought pool. I brought my togs ready for a swim. Yeah, we'll have a dip a bit later. Nice well. Congratulations uh, on being Swimply's newest sign-up as well. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I've finally done it. I've finally done it. Dan's dad. Really I've good. finally did it. Uh, and there's going to be some photos on the profile, of course, for you to rent my pool. And Will Dan's and Hammer pool. are not included in that. Is even it called though Dan's dad's pool? Dan's dad's pool, yes. Yeah. I did have to write like a bio about myself and I didn't know what to write. So I just said like... As seen on Back Chat Podcast. That's, you, that's my bio. Did you have to ask your dad to use it? He doesn't know. Doesn't he? No, nah, it's okay, better yeah. just Can to... we communicate, please? No, <laughs> I'm not telling him. I'm not <laughs> no, telling him. why wouldn't you? No. Until he comes <laughs> around one day for a leisurely dip. So, and there's 50 people <laughs> he in could, He could book it. He could rent it out. He could rent it out. So let's get straight into a couple of things. Firstly, of course, we are in front of my pool. This is a special Swimply edition. That's We're out shit, yeah, north. Oh, the the shit, furthest yeah, north you can get in Perth, down in Hocking. Um, up in Hocking. Up in Hocking, wherever. And Hamish Brayshaw, ladies and gentlemen, has yeah. a bag full of nuggets, 100 chicken, chicken nuggets. nuggets. Because so, why, Hamish? Why uh, do well, you have 100 chicken nuggets? Well, can we clarify the actual number in here? So I, I may as well. We've got to be yeah, honest go with the people. It's 80 nuggets in here. Sorry? I said that I could eat 100 nuggets. Why is yes, that not 100? Right? Because there's a reason. Well, I'll tell you. So there's 100 nuggets is the challenge that I said that I could eat. You ran your mouth. I ran my mouth, and uh, and now it's time for me to eat. I uh, I unfortunately found out about this after eating lunch, which was pretty disappointing. Um, but have gone to the toilet a number of times and backed one out and made room for dinner. So I am eyeballing in front of me eighty nuggets. The plan is to get through these eighty, and at about the, the I said to Dan, if I get to sixty and I'm feeling good, we'll order the next twenty. Yeah. Right. I'm about I'm about because I'd like to finish want... on hot nugs. Yeah, great. And we also don't want to waste food. Of course, it's also it's pretty spendy. I thought it'd be cheap. I thought it'd be like thirty How bucks for hot nugs. Uh, I think it was thirty dollars per forty pack. So we spent a little bit, sixty dollars, sixty bucks, sixty dollars, sixty dollars on bit nugs. Under a dollar a nugget. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah, it'll be all yeah. worth it when I triumphantly raise the bat. Of course, we've got bats around here. Obviously, uh, hashtag Perth Scorchers. But I'll be raising the bat for a hundred, yes. and I'll be raising Do you it to fifty. Can... Get to 100. I think I clearly can. I've got to be confident. Yeah, I've got to be confident. If you've ordered 80, you clearly no, have no confidence No, because I want the last whatsoever. 20 to be hot. In, in Hamish's yeah. defense, I, I, went ahead, I went above his head and I ordered I'm 80. Sorry, and I said, mate, honest. I'm just going to order you 80. How let's, long do you think it's going to take? Like, I don't I know. Like Why don't you just start? start? And I'm also, start, yeah. we got plenty of sauce as well. Yeah, we've got yeah, heaps yeah. of sauce. I'm going to put them down here. The um the other thing for everybody to know is that I am... I'm obviously doing a little bit of Instagramming myself. So, so um, have the monopoly. Yeah, yeah. I'll leave them at the end. Imagine on the way, yeah. There's only there's only one sticker. Yeah, there is on, only one on sticker on twenty nugs. No, that's twenty oh, that's nuggets 20 in pack. there. So as we're recording this, I'm also doubling a double record, and I'm about to eat my first nugget. So go for it, mate. How'd that go? It's a bit cold. Yeah. What would you like? Do you want some sauce with it? I'm going to try and eat as many as I can okay. without sauce. <laughs> oh, right, so that's Dan, wasted Dan, space. That's wasted Dan space. Dan and I are going to have a little chat then. Yep. Swimply, back on Swimply. So yes. while Hamish is handling his nuggets, look, this has been a long long time coming. Yeah. Like, you talk yep. about running your mouth. You've been running your mouth a long time on mm-hmm. this podcast about this. Yeah. We're at a special place here. Yep. Um, excited. You are on Swimply. You have signed up. Of course. If you want to join Dan on Swimply, make sure you're following us on socials. There will be a link in our bio. Yep. You click the link, you sign up. As a host. Yeah, and you can go into the running for some special prizes randomly selected. You sign up as a host. Coming into summer, you want some extra cash. Mm-hmm. you got to pull, you want to pull. Mm-hmm. You know how this works. Yep. You've got a door, you've got a gym. It's simply the best, baby. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Do it. Never do what you No. Damo was just locked in on how Dino, eating nugs. Da, da, Damo was adjusting things. He's like, can I pull down the <laughs> squenching of nuggets? You are hammering the host. I'm powering now. How, how many have you had? Added? This is my six. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's quick. Hey, just He's quickly off, hard the, hard off, hard off the bat, I just quickly looked up before we got on there the world record for chicken nuggets. Uh, someone I said- I hope it's like 70. <laughs> uh, Originally set to eat 200 McNuggets, freak eating uh, this guy, Nada Redder is his name, obliterated the previous record, <laughs> sat at 155, 
establishing the new mark to beat at 170. So the world record is 170. You're absolutely no <laughs> fucking chance of getting him within 70 of a world record, mate. That's like you 60%. Do, if you do that, we, we need to rebadge a few things of back chat, including it's just now an eating contest for Hamish Page. <laughs> yeah. Few, um, there was a few um, locals sort of flying around. A few around. bugs around. And you know what? So about a week and a half ago, I discovered a rat in my backyard. And then a few days later, I discovered three. And then I s- discovered sort of you're s- out, smaller you know? rats. North of the river, mate. Just there's palms around here. Um, it's a very oh, beautiful so place to live. Chicken nuggets in the bag. So just <laughs> get them coming out from their hidey holes. So you will see moths. You'll see bugs. You may see a rat climbing up over there. There's I put some bait out. Bloody plenty going on. I can't believe none of you guys are wearing our new merch. Some of our new merch has just dropped uh, on on our website, backchatstudios.com.au. Look at this, baby. Backchat. That's my favorite one. Backs win Backs premiership. win premiership. It's a bloody Sorry. good design. Sorry about that. Um, if I am apologising, I will uh, apologise. Thank you very much, there, Nicholas. Chuck that over here. There you go. Modelling. Oh, uh, that's a poor catch by me. Uh, this is another. Actually, this is almost better. That's Look at this. Straight up and down back chat. This camera over here. Is that right? Straight up and down back chat. We got backs win premierships. There's a few more dropping along the way. Tell you what, this is bloody good stuff. So um, if you have ordered, merch. if you've ordered on the um, on the pre-sale, they should be with you soon. Yeah, and if you haven't way. ordered one, order one right now because honestly, we thought we'd go a little bit overs with the ordering, and there's already not many left. I was, um, yeah, I was in the middle. Hey, of Hey, sorry the guys, real quick, yeah. twenty nugs done. Is that fucking <laughs> right? <laughs> how Do you long, want a how long have we been recording for? We've been recording for seven, seven minutes. minutes. You need to give an update. Yep. Just twenty nuggets in. Holy shit! I reckon get. Get, uh, Anyone Uber watching on YouTube? Everybody who's what? watching on my Instagram or on Backchat, I'm at 20 nuggets in. I can confirm. Minutes. Come on. Can confirm. He's just drilled 20 in seven minutes. That's outrageous. <laughs> no sauce. Record pace, no Pure, sauce yet. Just dry nuggets. No, enough talking from you. Now, I was apologizing for yes. my voice. Yeah, and, what's um, going on there? I mean, you never apologize for yours, but uh, I am sounding a little bit like I own Dan. it. I completely own it. Oh, I'm, owning, I'm owning it too. Like, yeah. Listen to me. Uh, look. Southern River Band had a concert at the Charles Hotel. Sold it out, mate. Yeah. Last show of their Jeez. national tour. I'm wearing the shirt, Stan Quaylen. And thought, um, well, we'd be it'd be reminiscent of the Backchat family not to have some representation. So you mm-hmm. were there for yep. a little bit, I might say. You did leave before it finished. Uh, Irish goodbye. You? Yeah. Um, uh, Hamish and I did not. We were. <laughs> no, we <laughs> I had to look not. back at the footage to see what actually happened because I introduced th- I introduced them. I was very nervous beforehand. Mm-hmm. I did steal a, um, a maraca, a uh, tambourine, tambourine, which legs wor- electric, which worked yeah, very. Shout out legs electric too. Uh, the tambourine was an addition that I did not um, forecast, but it certainly worked in my favour. Yep. I felt like it added something to this, just some stupid ex footballer walking up on a rock stage. Like, what are you yeah. even doing up there? At least I had Who the knows? tambourine. Like, you know what? It made me know, like, never get one for the studio because you were. A mess. A mess. <laughs> We're running around in Charles Hotel with a tambourine. So anyway, that sort of escalated quite a lot, and that's why my voice sounds like yeah. this. It, you, um, you you in, you introduced them once, went like ran off the stage, and then they didn't come on stage. You ran back on and go, "Ladies and gentlemen, that was shit. That was horrible. Yeah, we need you to do that again." Did you Not, know it was pre-planned? Was it? Did you know? Are you, are you I I, I assumed you know like when, I pre-planned it. I Great. told him, I said, do not come up on my first call. You know, very do good. not come up. That's, that's showmanship that's, from you. Hey. That's very good. I had to have something. I'm just really, really nervous. It's like, get up there and go, oh, welcome to Southern Rib Band. Like, get the fuck off. We're here to see the band. So I wanted like something, you know? Okay. Hey, mate, I've got some stats just to throw at you while you're eating your nuts. Oh, mate, so, for it, mate. 100 many, chicken nuggets is- at about nearly uh, nearly 30. <laughs> 100 chicken nuggets is 4,150 calories. Okay. Just for those wondering. And for Fat Chat, I was- uh, I was limited to 1,500 or 1,700 calories a day. Yep. Yes. So you're going to eat four. Shout out Fat Chat. Yeah, shout out Fat Chat. You're going to eat about sorry, three Jared. and a half times that in, in an hour. Um, so yeah, sorry, sorry Jared. Jared. Yeah. Uh, I'll throw some more stats at you throughout the episode. <laughs> Jared will be spewing up what. <laughs> Mm. Uh, that you, was my 30th nugget, by the way. My goodness, you were destroying this. Well, yeah. I want to get through 40 without sauce. I reckon you go for the world record. Yeah. 170. I reckon you just keep charging it because yeah, you do not like slowing up. down. How are you feeling? Feeling good. I huh? want to get you through know, 40 without yeah. sauce. I reckon you've done a bit of. I reckon you've had a little bit of a look because I have seen the you know the fast eaters or whatever they are. They yep. they go hard early because yeah. as soon as your brain realizes you've got fifty fucking nuggets in your chest, what's then it the guy's going, name? Johnny um, Joey Chestnut. Joey Chestnut. 
Did he like? Did he like kill a, a, a um, protester? He, like he had sixty six hot dogs in bun. No, in 10 a, a protester jumped up on stage just recently, and he had them in like a choker hold really? like, on the stage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look it, up. it was very, very good. <laughs> That's good. Well done, Joey. Uh, no, don't no, no violence, of course. Hammer, uh, <laughs> Hammer, you're eating nugs. Um, Why did you give that caveat? <laughs> <laughs> you don't come on. Come we don't. Go. Scoey, you're wearing a scorcher's bucket hat. Mm. Oh yeah. Shit. Why are you wearing? Of course, it's a very good hat. Yeah. But why are you wearing a Scorchers bucket hat? We've got plenty going on at the moment. So like much. there could not be more going on. We're at a Swimply pool, Dan's dad's pool. Uh, it's incredible scenes. Uh, Hammer's eating a hundred nuggets. We got our merch out, backchatstudios.com.au. Yep. Uh, Fleet Network's powering the podcast, of course. Uh, I'm wearing a Scorchers hat because we are pairing, yes. we are combining, yep. we are collaborating with yep. The Perth joining Scorchers, yeah, we are, we are, we are joining with the Perth Scorchers this summer. Mm. Every home game, we are the official Perth Scorchers podcast. That's I so good. And look, as you know, ladies and gentlemen, here on the podcast, we wouldn't do anything without um, you know, having a little little benefit. So yeah, uh, we got some boxes lined up, we got some members rooms lined up. Yep, I'm excited about the concept. We're going to have the players straight off the oval as soon as the game's done. Yeah, straight to us. All the other media can get. Yep. We're coming straight to the, straight up to us, post game interview, break down the game in in, in, in our that. fashion. Yeah, like, in our I'm fashion. not I'm yeah. not I'm not running you through ball by ball. <laughs> I'm talking about the seagull that got smacked out of the air with someone <laughs> yeah. going hard. Oh. I'm talking about Mitch Mars like catching one in the stands, one. sort of things like yeah, that yeah. sort of breakdown. Yeah, very good. Just and the good shit. Yeah, we're gonna have like we're gonna have about 10, 15 minutes just one on one. Like you don't get that. No. After a game, you get a little quick chat on TV, Fox yes. or whatever, 60 seconds. How long do you usually get for with like a player after a footy game? Three questions. Three questions. We're going to have so much time with them. We can talk, do all this, like funny stories and things like that. It's going to come out the following day. So if you miss any action or you want just more Perth scorches. I, I would say like 14 nugget, 40 nuggets. I, I think you need a little update on Instagram. I would say from a... Uh, I have a soft drink or something. Yeah. Uh, a bottle of water. I don't have soft drink. That's a rookie error by you not providing some drinks for this, man. I mean, you and me. And <gasps> Look up there. Oh, no, no. What is it? It's a rat just crawling across the fence. Jesus Christ. Where are we? I'd love a bottle of water at some point. Yep. Uh, uh, look, I would say uh, Thank you. from a – and this is all with all due respect. We love the Scorchers and we're, we're you know, pairing up with them. Yeah. Join the forces. Mm -hmm. But I don't want – this isn't going to be a cricket podcast. It's about cricket, but it's not going to be a cricket yeah, podcast. Yeah. Just it's, saying. Just it's so the we vehicle know. of cricket, just but so it's our back chat stuff. Back chat. Ham will be with us. He'll be getting on the beers, bro. I will be with us, and I'm 40 nuggets in, and I'm finally getting onto the sauce. So I've got the bat ready just in case I need to raise it. Just toss it to Just throw it, Nick. That's that, fucking pathetic. That, What's, that he was, What's he going to do? What's he going to do with that there? <laughs> how is he going to get that? I'll go and get it. What have you done with that? I'm on 40 nuggets. Nick, tell you what, mate. I've got some garlic aioli sauce, so. I'll be still continuing to eat this, and I'm nearly at a point where I'm going to raise this bat, but you, I won't do it just You've yet. got 12 right, sachets of sauces there ready for you as well. So that's what's way. happening with the Scorchers, and we're excited yeah, about from, it. From wait. very first ball, the very first game, game, we'll be there. It's going to be bloody awesome. Um, like you said, so much going on, and sorry to bombard you with another thing, but it's all good. November, the 27th, 27th of October, well, yeah. Friday night at the Paddo. What are we doing? Yeah, so this one, I would say... and This is massive, by the way. Yeah, I would say this is the... The most important of all the crap that I just bombarded you with, and yep. hopefully sometimes you don't get too sick of us throwing all this stuff. But we like doing fun shit, right? So I mean, this year being at the pool, it's fun as you know what. Hundred nuggets, fun as making merch, fun as scorches. We get on the piss talking about cricket, fun as yeah. November, this one's a bit special to me, and I think these boys too. Mm -hmm. uh, we are partnering with Movember this year uh, with a very special live event, and then a month full of mental health chats. Uh, Raising awareness around men's mental health, suicide prevention, prostate and testicular cancer. Um, and we're doing that um, across the month of November. So we've got a massive live event kicking off the fundraising efforts of the Lumpy Plums. The Lumpy Plums. The greatest name for a <laughs> Movember raising. One of the great names. Uh, groups yep. I've ever heard. I've signed up to it. You've signed up to it. Have you signed up to it yet? I haven't, but I will. That's okay. sh fucking shit out. Yeah. Oh, I've been busy eating 100 nuggets. <laughs> Storm Do that tonight, please. Storm Lewington's the man there. He has uh, battled Storm his- Storm Lewington. That's a good name. Speaking of good names. He's battled his way through two bouts of testicular cancer and absolutely guy. still fighting uh, beautifully. He runs the Lumpy Plums. Great. So we're making this the 27th of October- this is the big kickoff. This is where you come down and get your mo shaved. Yeah. So we're partnering up with Main Street Barbers. Yep. 
They've offered up six barbers chairs. Six. That's we're huge. expecting quite a big crowd down yeah, there. Yeah, awesome. Come down, bring all of your mates and get shaved and talk shit with us on stage and have a beer. Yeah. That's that's basically it. That's we, it. We're gonna have a chat with Storm. But I just want you to come down, have a beer. Uh, bring mental some health if you want some nuggets. Mental health stuff for me, right? I think we actually are a mental health podcast without ever talking about mental yep, health. Yes, Laughter, connection, community, all that shit. So this live event, come down, have a beer and take the piss out of each other while you're getting your beard and mo shaved up on stage. So yep. I'm bloody excited. I'm actually the most excited about all it's, of that. It's going to be really fun. Is this 50? <laughs> you're going to have to get your sutton the sauce. Is this, what is There's this? There's a lot of sauce on that, by the what way. What is this? Yeah, he's struggling. Terrible. He's already struggling. I'm not struggling. <laughs> Do we need to order another 20 for you? This is nugget number 50. What's the sauce? Done, Hammer. Garlic aioli sauce. Looks a bit like it's going special sauce. <laughs> He's speaking like he has a nugget in his throat. <laughs> Well done, Hammer. Raising the back. Come on. Really good, Hamish. That Ladies is, and gentlemen. How long have we been on for? 16 minutes. 16, 16 minutes. Nuggets 15. 15 minutes. I'm halfway there. Come it's on. like a dollar an hour. That's, uh, oh mate, that, you, could, you could definitely break the record with some training. I absolutely think you could. I believe in you. I, I need a little bit more breakdown of how you're going here. I know you're putting Just some let me put Instagram something up. Um, how am I going here? Honestly, Talk us through. I am, I'm feeling okay. 100 is looking daunting at this point. <laughs> I would have loved a little Coke or something. Um, but hey, I'm, I might Uber something here. That's how good I'm feeling. I'm going to Uber Eats myself a drink. No, no, no. no. I'll, I'll sort you out or something. I'll, how about would beer? Well, is, Be- is Beck going to squeeze him some fresh lemon juice oh. inside us? Well? No, I've got Coke. I've just remembered I've got Coke, but no I'll worries. have to get it. So you guys will Where have to talk it? for him. It's, it's like a hidden you in an do. esky. It's it's somewhere, and I'll have to get your ice because no, it's warm. No, no, let's just order it off Uber Eats, mate. It's yeah, not fucking I'll order it off Uber Eats. I'll I need a Coke, a big one. Can I get a, um? oh, what can I get? <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you know what I want? A, uh, what's that biscuit um, ice cream? Bish- Maxi Bond. Oh, Maxi Bond. So yeah, I'm c- over the hump now. I'm, that was my 51st nugget. I'm well now, it's, it's downhill. It's all downhill from here. It's easy. It's very easy. Uh, can I throw one more stat at you? This says 630 millimeters of cholesterol. What is what is mm in cholesterol terms? <coughs> Are you still talking about how is many? That, yeah, how much for a skin fold millimeters. This is for 100 nugs. Oh 630 God. millimeters of cholesterol. All f- I hear from that is this isn't a healthy thing for me. No, no, no. 250 grams of fat doesn't seem like that nope. much. I mean, that's a lot. But <laughs> it's a lot, but it doesn't seem like too much either. Uh, what would you like? Would you like me to order the extra 20 nuggets or not? I'm going to order them just in case with a drink. Order, with order a drink, them. Right? Get me oh. as many Cokes as you can. Yes. As many as you like, can. Get me like two or three large Cokes. I'll have a Sprite, please. Okay. I really like the no. sugar-free Do you reckon any of you boys could handle this side of things? Like Nick, do you reckon you could handle Oh, one? I need a large. I need a few large Cokes. Hey? 30 what? No, no. <laughs> Can you order this so I don't know, so I can just can I speak on the podcast and you can order this? Is that <laughs> That's possible? so good. Would that be possible? Uh, one you. thing that we've been working on we'll for fix you up. for a little while. Invoice Dan. Invoice me. One thing we've been working on for a little while, and well, we've been dad. slowly, slowly drip feeding it to you. And last week we announced the big Kahuna what do, oh, fistball. Oh mm. fuck, mate! Fistball. Oh, yeah. How much have we got going we've on? Got at the so, we have so much going on. We have a, a ninety-five Slack channels just to <laughs> figure out what's going on with our lives. Fistball is well and truly like well on its way. We have had so many people contact us saying, Fistball, I love Fistball. I want to play. <laughs> people saying, I've, I've been born to play this game. I can't believe someone's finally showed it to the me. The feedback and the uh, the traction that we've I've received. I've been fisting been since I was a child. Slightly. Exactly. <laughs> I, like you know, I've been dreaming of you know the fist for a long time. Exactly. The traction we've received is slightly overwhelming. We have had crazy. I reckon half of the current national fistball team has been in contact. Yep. Uh, the coach, I believe, is flying over for our open day, November eleven. The like Australian coach. That's right. There's Jeez. there's there's a fair bit of uh, there's a fair bit of hype going on. Uh, we're we're partnering with some people. Um, this is the real deal. The, hey, so, this is the real fucking so good. deal. Fistball is coming to a field near you, Western mm. Australia. If you are a if you are a male, female, sitting around going, what do I do with these fists in summertime when I've been practicing my, else, my yeah. anyone else, male, female, or anything in between? If you've there got you a fist, go. You can play ball. There you go. If you've been sitting around going, what do I do now that the football season is over? I'm a doubt offender, and I can't put these fists when they need to be fisted. Well. This is the game for you. Fist ball, you can only use your fists. It's a 50-meter field. We are running an open day to form the West Australian 
state team to perform at the national championships on December 16. Very good. We will be playing against Victoria and New South Wales and we are flying the squad, mm. uniform, flights, accommodation, all inclusive. We will pay for your way if you make the team. So as much as we're taking the piss here, there's a fair bit of fisting innuendo going on. Heaps of fisting. This is genuine. Genuine. You need to be able to fist. That we're putting our but money is, where our mouth is. This is the best of the where fists. Where the fists are. This is the, we're putting our fists where the fists need to be. Exactly. And we're going to be flying across the country to compete to then potentially, right, if you're good enough and WA is good enough, we could potentially be playing in an in a international tournament. There's no doubt about that. A little, uh, bit, little, little bit further down the track. Trans now, on socials, backchat double underscore, we did ask for some fistball name suggestions for the team. 60 nuggets. 60 nuggets. Well done. Fist me. Fist you. Here we go. Here's some of the suggestions that we've heard from people. Uh, Fist and the Furious <laughs> 5, mm -hmm. which is great. Uh, Fist and Chips. Mm. Back Fist. Back Fist. The Foo Fisters. <laughs> the Buckleys, which is great. Why? Jack Buckley. Jack Buckley, obviously. Oh, which is very me. good. I mean, the fact that it went over my head's even better. Oh, Fist, yeah, which is great. Fist Buckley. Fister Act. Chunky Knuckles. <laughs> Philodo Fist. <laughs> Chunky <laughs> Knuckles. <laughs> the Spoilers. And my fister's keeper. <laughs> <laughs> so lots of team name suggestions. Keep on sending them through. Backchat, double underscore, message us. Uh, we've got a couple of names that we like. We will announce the team name soon. Scoey, can we announce the ca the sorry the coach? Is that too soon? For we have a, a we name. have a coach. We have a coach, and it's big. He's quite look. He's quite look. I'll 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 describe the coach. I won't name him. Okay. He. Th he thinks and possibly is quite a big deal in Western Australia. Yep. He's, he's very much morphed himself into a bit of a bit of a man around town. He likes throwing his fists around on social media. I will say that. Very good. Um, and uh, he's going to be coaching the side. Will he be offering any value from a performance point of view? No. Will he offer some sort of motivational expertise? Yes, he will. Yeah, absolutely. And, I, and so we have locked in the coach, I believe. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm just excited to form this team because as much as we're taking the piss, we're, these tryouts, like it, draft camp ain't this got shit huge. on what we're nah, about to this, do. Oh, we're I agree we're, to we're that. Where we're and we booked the Oval. We Oval have. is booked. What suburbs is it in? Uh, Mount <laughs> Hawthorne, Leadville area. <laughs> where are we right now? Well, actually, we can tell everyone where it is. Yeah. It's going to be at the Floriot Florida, Florida, Athena soccer pitch, which is like one of the huge. best soccer it's got pitches. A in grandstand. Perth. It's got grandstands. It's all Fuck enclosed. Yeah. Uh, so we've booked that. It's uh, It's an elite venue. Uh, Hammer's getting that. Is that the last box of nugs in there? This is my last box of nugs. Can I ask? You've ordered a, it right now. Can I ask an ATR on that Coke? Can I get yeah. it really? Because that is going to be that's going to be should, critical. The for nugs me, took only fifteen minutes to get here, so I, right. I hope the uh, uh, the drinks well, work. Okay, too so long. I'm moving on to. I think I've got barbecue down. sauce in here. Did you set the line at sixty four? Yeah, my line's sixty two and a half. My line's sixty two and a half. So I think I'm going to shit the line in. I've just had a text from my little brother Andrew, who is in um, he's in Rome currently. Ah, oh, shout out Andrew. Shout out Andrew Listen in Rome. Back chat, no doubt. And he just said, uh, "Me and Liz tracking your stories. How you going? We're yodeling at them. <laughs> we both think you'll get there. Dig in. Channel your inner Joey Chestnut. So yeah, <laughs> I will. Um, the I, family's I, yeah. coming from all sorts. Yeah, everyone's of the coming world. From across the world. What number do you get to before you like have to finish? Right. There has to be a number where you're like I'm already this far. I, I have know, to. I was going to say, once you crack that last box, he's not going to sit there with a box in front of him not finish it. <laughs> All right, 15, 15 minutes, minutes to a coach. coach. So oh. I think, look, if I'm honest with you, I, reckon, I am. Do you, if you had to say yes or no, you're going to get 100 right now? Yes. Is, I, I would say yes too. <laughs> you if I had to say yes or no, I would say yes, I'm getting 100. How long the has coke would, been going for? The Coke will be desperate. 23 minutes. Like I'm desperately going to need this Coke. Okay. I'm desperately going to need Do you feel it. like the, the texture of the Coke, the bubbles? The bubbles will help a lot. So okay. as, I, um, as I get my phone out, this is my 61st nugget. I have uh, moved on to the barbecue sauce just to add a different layer of flavor and a little bit of a yeah, different nice. something. Uh, and I need a Coke. I'm waiting about 15 minutes away from a Coke and 20 fresh nugs getting here. It's been an exceptional effort. I've got to be I've honest. I've been strong so far. 62 and a half line. I think yeah. I'm going to shit that in. I don't want to go the early crow because the crow wields power, but I'm, uh, I'm feeling okay. Wow. Very good. Barbecue sauce, good. That's bloody impressive. So, look, I know you've just been bombarded, listeners, with a whole lot of shit that's going on, but... I think it's quite exciting it's, it's, in back It's a little right bit of now. an open door into our lives currently. Yeah, all, the, all, all the stuff that's going on at the moment. My wife's been away in Bali. I had two kids. I tell you what, shout out all the mums and wives out there. It's fucking hard. It is. It's bloody brutal yep. being, a, being a real parent. Like me and Dan 
Karen, I like pork chops. <laughs> Seriously. Mm. I, as I, as I, so this difficult. Thursday I leave for Bali. Uh, boys trip. Gil, boys trip, lads Gil, trip. Gil, Stubbsy, Finky, yeah. all the boys. <laughs> Adam Thorpe. <laughs> Adam Thorpe will be there. Uh, going from Tuesday, sorry, Thursday to Tuesday. So I won't be here for next week's Back Chat episode. Is that just right? FYI. I will still not have eaten. <laughs> <laughs> These nuggets are a little bit colder than the other ones. Okay. I think that's good. Do you want thing. a microwave? No, no, no. no. Okay, you want, okay. No worries. So, so you're off to so Bali. I'm off to Bali. Mm. Um, so I don't know what you guys are going to do next Monday, we'll but if you want to give me a call, I yeah, might be at be uh, Motel Mexicola or, or something. Yeah. One of my favorite places in Bali. <laughs> it's so good. When was the last time you were in Bali? Oh, uh, I don't know. Idea. Two years ago, three oh, years ago. Cool. Um, it, it wasn't like a trick question. <laughs> I, I don't know. You put me on the spot. Um, never been to Bali. You've never been. You've never been to. Bali. Never in my life. Oh, that's a good time. No, nah, not really. Not quite happy with your own. I'm very happy just sitting here eating my nugs. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, lost some impact on this podcast. You've done a lot of editing. But I, know, I, I do respect. No, it. you're also contributing a good amount. I'm happy I'm with what you're doing bit. right now. I'm doing my I bit. feel like you look bigger than when you started. Like well, you're 100 quarties. fucking nuggets if I get through them. Yeah. 64 at the moment. We should have weighed you before the 100 No nuts. way. I'll be 108, and I reckon I'm 112 after these. <laughs> hey, Lockie Schultz is, is playing for Collingwood now. That's I'm going to go, go off mic for a minute. Yeah, go off mic. I'm just going to really dig in for this. Yeah, next dig in. Trouble. You in trouble? Just need to get through the 20 because then the cokes will arrive. Are you in trouble? I'm not in trouble. I just need to seriously dial in. Okay, so pick 34 and a future fr- uh, first round selection goes to Fremantle in exchange for Lockie Schultz. Who who wins out of this deal? Well, I mean, they're pretty much saying so. That what what pick was it? They set the second round of the 34. Um, they basically, Collingwood got that for Taylor Adams. So people are saying that right. they've, they've, for Taylor Adams, they've got in Lockie Schultz and they've lost uh, Taylor Adams in the future first Okay, for Lockie Schultz. So they're saying Collingwood's lost the trade. I tend to think that Lockie Schultz will add more to Collingwood than Taylor Adams would have. He's been... They won yes, a premiership without him. Yeah. I, 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 like, I don't think he adds something special to them, whereas Lockie Schultz probably adds something to them that will really take them to a next level, which is a goal kicking pressure forward. You can you can be the pressure forward and play the role and which is what he does outstandingly, but he kicks goals too. So apparently um uh his VFL side Williamstown before he got picked up the year he got picked up. The two best games he played were against Richmond's VFL side, which Fly McRae was the coach of in wow. that year. And that were his two very best games. So apparently McRae has had a bit of a crush on him since then. Gets there man Look, I don't know who wins it. I can tell you who fucking loses it, and that's Freo. They've lost right. they've lost the trade period right at this moment. If we took if we stopped it right now and they make no further moves, they have well and truly lost the so trade they, period. They've also lost Liam Henry for a future second round and uh, a swap of future fourth round selections. Nothing. So, See yeah. you later. Yeah, so He's Liam Henry's gone. off to St. Kilda. Uh Joel Hamling's gone. So they've lost Hamling, Henry, and Schultz. And they've delisted guys like Collier, Wilson, and a few others. None of them are their best players, but they've lost another band of role players. They did mm-hmm. it last year. And they didn't improve this year because of it, and then they've done it again this year. I think they need to have a severe look at bringing someone else in in that band because if they go through another trade period and they don't improve their list, you can't go backwards in this competition, and they will have done it two years in a row if they don't add anyone else. So I'd be very surprised if they don't do something in the next two days. They've got three first, uh, future firsts, which people are saying that Logan McDonald has his eye, well, they yep. have their eye all over him. I reckon they do something before then, and I reckon they should back themselves in to like get Logan McDonald. Yeah, I reckon they get. I reckon they have a crack at someone with a, this year. I reckon yep. they try to bring someone in because they've just they've lost too much. Does, do the, does the fact that they always seem to be good at the um, recruiting process through, not recruiting, sorry, but finding good players late in the draft, do they ever go? Do you think they just go like, "Well, we've done it before. Like we can do it again and get mm. good picks"? Because what pick was? Haven't really done much, though, have they? What was Shorts? Fifty years. Really done much. Really done much. And won a premiership. Yeah. Um, finals record's been a bit shitty, so I would say any success that they believe they've had is probably not really validated at this stage. True. Tyler Brockman. They there were some rumors around of like Frio going after him, but now he's obviously <laughs> at, at West that, Coast. Um, people think that Colin. Colin Young sort of runs the whole show down there, is, um, <laughs> which is hilarious. So um, Bro- Brockman goes to West Coast for picks 44 and 63. Good. People are saying he's quite good. I haven't really seen too much. I saw him kick those five goals at Tassie that week. Yep. Which is good. I mean, 
Yeah, no one's sitting here has ever kicked five goals before in a game of AFL football. Um, I had five touches. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. I'm all right. I yeah. really need these cokes. Yeah. Okay. It's express deliver them, Nick. Hope you they're coming. The they're coming. That's right. Uh, so 100 Nuggets, similar to the – just just a little note here from Nick. Similar to the Brayshaw annual 100. Maybe this could be an annual thing. Oh, fuck this. <laughs> Is yeah. this worse than the annual 100? Um, no, no, no. The annual 100. Mm. I think you're going to have to – I think oh, look, slowing rate and mentality around it, I think you're going to have to push yourself into quite a – I've had 72 Nuggets. That's – mate, that is point. a – Really, really good effort, and you haven't even had the cokes yet. I haven't had my cokes. I haven't got the sweet and sour sauce yet, which I feel like is going to be the lightest one. Do I'm hurting at the moment. Like I am feeling, I'm yeah. feeling the pinch. Nah. Okay, you're going to have to push yourself into a day scenario this last twenty. I, think, I, aren't you? I will. I'm going to. Ha- well, I've got to munch my way through these eight. Right. Which might take how long have we got? Eight on the cokes. Nine minutes. I- I'm going to get these eight done in the nine minutes. minutes. Yep. Finish strong in the last twenty, and then I'm going to have twenty fresh hot nugs. Scoey, I want to ask you a question. Hmm. And then uh, I get in the pool. And then you get in the pool? Yeah, I'm going to get in the pool. Is that, Great. Is that like, is it clean? Mate, it's, look at it. Yeah, it looks clean, yeah. It's, yeah, like it's good. Rats running around the fucking place. <laughs> that's, that's, that's because it's such a clean place. They want to hang out here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is for you, Scoey. Michael Pryor. Um, there's been yeah. a bit of chat around him and Get what he said in a, in a press conference. Uh, so he was sort of upset that the reigning premiers played the West Coast uh, women's team. And it was like, you know, what do you guys expect? The reigning premiers and they played us. So Sorry, I'm moving on to the Swain Sour Sauce. Okay, thanks, Hammer. What do you think about this? I mean, a statement. He has, he's been copping it. A statement. Well, as he should, mate. Now, <laughs> you know, you know, I call a spade a spade here. And I, yep. and I try to, look, I try to limit my criticism, which at times is difficult with the West Coast Eagles right now because they've won wooden spoons across the board. Mm. There hasn't been a lot of improvement. And there hasn't been a lot of change. So uh, when things like this happen, I'm like, what is actually going on down there? Because look, he's put out a statement post, which I was like, I was, I was, the clock was on today and Monday. I didn't see that. What did he, oh, what was statement, the statement? Mate, there was always a statement coming out, oh, you know, all the regular bullshit. Doesn't represent the club. Yeah, right, uh, right. Yeah, right. I'm sorry. This, yeah, yeah, great. Blah, blah, blah. Which is, again, hilarious. Stick to your guns, Mick. All uh, right, no. <laughs> 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 That's the Nuggets talking. Stick to your nuggets. <laughs> That's 75 <laughs> Nuggets speaking. This is my 75th Nugget. That is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. He's complaining about them playing good sides. So he, he says, with 18 teams in the comp and only 10 games that they play, how we play that team is beyond me. Well, What I don't. What do I, you I expect? Thought, when I, I watched it in full because I was like, I must have missed something here. I, I still feel like I've missed something. You, I don't, I don't know. The fixed string's got them matched up against Melbourne. They're defending premiers, but you're in a competition. It's trying to expand and grow. You don't get to pay the. F- no. uh, mind you, the <laughs> AFLW women's team have had the second easiest draw. Yes. In the competition. So th- wasn't it the first three or four games they played? None of those teams made the finals. That's Is correct. that something like uh, that? Something like the first five or six. Yeah. So there you go. That's it was. Hel- it was. That was hilarious. I actually found it hilarious. Do you is is it is Michael Pryor's statement funnier than Jack Gunston wanting to go back to Hawthorne? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Jack Gunson. So just just a timetable of Jack Gunson, right? He requests no. a trade to Brisbane. Yeah. Okay. Got to Brizzy. Gets to Brizzy. At some point in time, he fucking drops, drops himself. Drops himself. Let me <laughs> let me tell you, Jack. I hope you learned your lesson, mate. We talked. We, we did. We call this out the second it happened. Yep. Said, don't walk into the coach's office and drop yourself because you know what'll happen. You'll miss out on playing in a grand final, Jack, and then you fucking want to get traded out of the club, mate. <laughs> All he had to do was not do that. It would have been fine. It would have been. But just just mind you. Brisbane, what was it? It was a, it was a scheduled rest or some bullshit. Like he didn't yeah, drop himself. It was a, no, no. it was a, uh, an option to go and take an away training group from the rest of the club. I mean, Jesus Christ. Anyway, uh, Daniel Rich gets delisted after doing that, and Jack Gunson's probably delisting himself because I don't think Hawthorne will even take him back. Yeah, what do you mean? Like, why would they take him back? So what? he he requ- he like has he he publicly re- requested a trade, yep. and Hawkson just going there. Nah, okay. Why would you do that unless you knew you were going to get taken? That's a good question. So you'd think that he has some sort of knowledge, but like... It would be hilarious if you're Hawthorne, for Hawthorne if, to go, no thanks. Well, like, if you're Hawthorne, you're not going to be like, oh, please, Jack, yeah, I can't wait. He's got a... <laughs> he's contracted at Brisbane. Yeah, right. So, like, they can just that go the, just... Yeah. They're, they're under... That, they'll have him for free, I'm sure. But if they're like, yeah, 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 Jack, you might have to give a th- pick 30 away. But if they're like, do whatever you fucking want, they might get him for pick 90. I haven't been following this at all, but... Australian cricket team are sort of letting us down. What do you think I've been watching? 
You think, I, why are you looking at me as if I give a shit? Or I feel like, like have you been keeping up to the with the World Cup? I've been keeping up to date. I saw the English loss to uh, He's got two left. It's got two left full 80. It's a 78. Is I, um, I saw the Aussies have been shit. A lot of pain. A lot of pain right now for me. So I'm just going to go off mic. Jaden Jaden was um watching the watching the World Cup on his phone just before. There's a rain delay. Are uh, Australia going to make it? Who are? Australia. We got them out for 209. Oh, that's not bad. It's bison time. It's bison time. I ser- Well, I mean, it doesn't need bison time. It's a 50-over match. If they can make 209, they probably don't deserve to be in the World Cup. I saw some article that said they're the worst one-day international side Australia's ever had. That's brutal. There's some strange things happening in Australian cricket right now. Why don't we just focus on what WA is doing? They're going for a three-peat in every form of the game. In, in- Nine-peat. Sorry, they're going for a three times three pate. Yeah, uh, which is a nine pate. Thank you. Um, unless, yeah. So AJ uh, Tyre told us about this. Who's coming up yeah, this I week mean, on the podcast? It probably would have been good for us to do a bit more research because it was like it's not like hidden hidden news. No, no, no. Um, but when he we the, said you said like oh that, how's how's the three pate looking? He's like mate, it's a nine pate. Four four days, the one day. Yep. And the fucking scorches. Yep. <laughs> That's some dominance there. Absolute for you. dominance. Demo, give us a swimply song. We're here in front of my pool. Perth, Hocking, ladies and gentlemen. Dan's dad's pool. (laughs) You're slippery the best. I'm I'm just jumping. Sorry, I'm just jumping straight. I'd like to start with the the best moment for this podcast is Hamish has just finished 80 nuggets. nuggets. I have just continuously ate 80 nuggets on the bounce. He's going to do it. I have got 20 nuggets to go. He's in big trouble. Uh, He's in big trouble. I've got 20 nuggets to go, and I've got some Cokes coming in He's on the sideline. So trouble. I've got 20 nuggets to eat in the <laughs> remainder of this podcast. I am hurting, though. I have really, yeah. for those listening and watching along at home, I've hit a bit of a wall, but in trouble. I chewed through those last eight nuggets like a champ. Um, 80 is the number that I'm at currently, and I feel like at this point I've just got to keep ticking them over. If yep. I can go a nugget a minute <clears throat> for Not 20 even. minutes. Not even. Send, in, send in the night watchman. Minutes. Yeah, I just got to. I just got to get some nuggets. If I can get to ninety, if I can get the nervous nineties, I think I'll be able to munch through a few. I might have to get in the pool for the last twenty, but <laughs> I'm feeling good Why? at this point in time with the cokes inbound. Fresh nuggets on the way. Come on, we got an ATA on the Uber. Yeah, Mod is on his way. Who's? Mod is on his way. Come Mod. on. Mod. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. It was nine minutes. Fucking ten minutes yeah. ago. Mod. This is going to hurt me. It I've got really a little is. bit of a delay now. Okay, that's fine. I've got an eight minutes stay, delay. Stay strong, mate. I'm going to stay strong. Yeah, let's got this. Give me a little shrimp, please. I want a shrimp. You shrimp, please. That's the best. Came, yeah, that came from the chest. Well sign, done. Up, uh, sign up to Swimply. If you've got a pool, now's your time. Summer is on its way. Get your pool clean. It's probably green like mine was. Get it clean. Get your pool up on Swimply. It, it, I, I did just before. It took me... 90 seconds. It was yeah. so easy. Uh, we'll have a link up in our socials for you to do that, and you go into the running to get a little prize. I think there's a giant inflatable duck. Yeah, that's correct. There's, there's a bit of cash. cash. There's cash flow. cash as well. Uh, so if you use our link, that's yep. how you that's to go. You don't get to just sign up. You need to no. use our link in our bio, and then you go in for cash and swimply ducks. Giant duck. Hammer will come around. <laughs> Trigger all of your piss. Yeah. And you can also just actually make money from people renting out. And can pool. people sign up to Dan's dad's pool? You can you can rent out the pool, yeah. If it's, it's on, if it's, it's available, it's, if it's, on, it's very it's on Shrimply, isn't it? It's hot property. It's hot property. So if it's Down unavailable, it's, it's probably because uh, it's so many people. Down out. Uh, we have the Swimply, the best moments of 2023. Last week, for the market, we we actually went uh, and presented the moments. We have a winner, so I'd like to present, ladies and gentlemen, 2023, the Swimply, the best moment. I'm going to start from fourth place. I thought we had five. We, we had four. I think we had four. I think there was a maximum of four that you could poll on. So we oh, had four. four to poll. So Instagram right. made us. <laughs> That's we got good. clipped. Who we clip? We clip. Uh, Some pleb. Oh, Himmelberg? Ah, Leah. Oh, that was good. It was not, good. Not good, good enough, not Aaliyah. Well yeah. done, Aaliyah. Okay, well done, Aaliyah. But in fourth place, so, you know, in fourth place, Harry Himmelberg comes in at 10% of the vote. So congratulations, Harry. Third place. On 15% of the vote. So if you just remember, Harry kicked a goal, a point to win the game, and then took a hanger down the other yeah. end to save the game. Huge. The same game. So well, that's Harry. fourth. Third place, with 15% of the vote, Will Ashcroft's goal. 
That was the third best moment, according to this the people. This is the goal. This is the yeah, goal. That's bullshit. Now I said, know exactly what's going to fucking win. Right, yeah, so do I. I'm a little bit disappointed, to be honest. Uh, second place. Luke Shuey's final game goal <laughs> oh, this is from outside 50, was it? It was a good goal. Just so he just kicked the goal on his left foot, mate. Oh, was it the second best times. goal of, was it the second best moment of the season, according to the fans? Obviously. Like Apparently. I said, I was, I was looking after my children all day and I have not had anything to do with the planning of this show. So this is a genuine. No. Let me clap. First in. place, 49%. 49%. 49%. The simply the best moment of 2023. Hey. Damo, can you, can you give us something? I'm proud of you, mate. Scoey's comeback with 49% yeah, yeah, yeah. playing the Swimply the best. Oh, Scoey, you are swimply the best. <laughs> you are, mate. What well have you got done. to say for yourself? Anything? Tell you what, it feels swimply amazing to win this uh, beautiful award. What do I win, Dan? You win exactly what's on my appeal to plays. Oh, which is? So, for the first one, you get Bond Street, which I don't think you get anything for. I'll have Bond Street. I'll <laughs> take your next Bond Street. No, it's a chance to win Isuzu MUX. Well, you get Pentaville Road for a ten night, a chance to win a 10-night South Pacific Cruise. Fleet Network can get you Isuzu MUX. Scoey, well done. It. If you wanted to from Fleet Network, you get Northumberland Avenue. Ooh. You're a chance to win a family barbecue. I would have liked a little instant win. Well, that's what we're hoping for on the last Small one. Fries. Can we get there? Nugs? You get a chance card. Oh, disappointing. A chance you scan these. Hang on. Scan. Yeah, it's, yeah. All, it's all a ruse to get your email. I have got 20 nuggets on the way. I made it down. I got nothing on my instant wins. Maccas are against me. But I'm not. I'm against them because I'm feeling it. Backchatstudios.com. Three are you, minutes. Are you loving it? Three minutes away. I am are you loving, loving it. it? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Come on. Well done, Will Schofield. Swimply the best moment of 2023. Uh FYI, backchatstudios.com.au, yep. our new website. Thanks for Mumba Digital. If you want to start a little business, of course you need a website. Well, Mumba Digital yeah. can do all of that for you. Yeah. So not only starting a website and starting a business, all of that, but I will say Mumba Digital specialise in existing businesses and taking you from, yeah, like trying your best online and, you know, you've got some failing. sales going and that's good. No, not failing. You're going okay. Right, okay. You want to advance what you're doing. You want to actually succeed and, and kill it. I can tell you firsthand that Mumba Digital will take you to the next level in sales. So they'll do website, they've got e-com specialists in there and they dominate anything from post to post. So I don't know if I can do that read much better um, off the top of my head. You nailed it, mate. Well done. They're fucking good. Very good. Uh, we're going to do a little break here with uh, Fleet Network, of course. And when we come back, Hammer's going to have 20 more nugs to go. And I'm um, opening my Macca's app to scan this chance card. Fleet Network, if, if, you, if you don't know already and you would like to know, it'll save you money, uh, it'll help your budget, and you can get things. one of the cars that you want to get and drive around. I don't like cars. I just need somewhere to get from point A to point B. Fleet Network can do that for you while saving you money if you are employed by anybody. Yep. That is a qualification you need. You need to be an employee. I'm one of those. You could be an employer and it could help you, but yep. employees, you go to Fleet Network, they sort your shit out, and then you get yourself a car, you a know, brand new one. Yeah, you never take yourself a lease and, and you're away. You literally, you just give it over to Frank and the boys. They handle it everything, with your employer. Everything. There's it's apps. Great. You put expenses through there. They pay you back your money. It's all inclusive. You pay one fee for the month. Uh, so, I don't know. You get down there. You get yourself an Isuzu um, car that I've got. It's fucking great. The D-Max. Like, yeah, the D-Max, Isuzu D-Max. You go, all right, here's your Isuzu D-Max. They say, here's the amount of money you need to pay a month. That's all we heard from you. That's all she wrote. There's the money. Drive away, there's no more to pay. Shit, shit. Well, there's some to pay. There's obviously more to pay. It's an ongoing lease. That's the whole point. <laughs> you know what, though? Last week, mm. I got Drive my Drive away, no more to pay until next month. <laughs> yeah. to pay again. I got my car serviced. So idiot. I'm not with Fleet Network, <laughs> yeah. Network right now. And I'm Just working towards getting a fleet service. Yes. Mm. When I got my car service, I, had, I dropped it off to all that stuff. The guy was showing me all these forms. I was like, no, how much am I going to pay? pay? He's like, do you want the extra $45? Yeah. The oil thing. I was yeah. like, man, I don't know anything yeah. about this. I should just be with Just bundle network. it all in one cost exactly. and give it to me. But yeah, pay this. you got to pay this. So you send some money here. Lesson learned. Idiot, Lesson damn. learned. I'm going to call Frank and the boys. Fleetnetwork.com.au to choose your next vehicle and leave the rest to their dedicated team of experts. Right, we're back. Are we back? Yeah, we're back. We're back. How you feeling, buddy? I'm just putting my earpiece back in, if I can get this right. Uh, and as I'm doing that, I'm feeling actually okay. I've had a little bit of a walk around. I'm, did um, you feel it moving around in your I stomach? I did. I felt it moving around in my stomach. Okay. Everything's just happening for me here. There well, it is. I'm full of confidence. Absolutely. I, um, I, I, I found, I, look, I'll be perfectly honest with you. At the um, at about the 55 mark, yeah. I was I was like- A bit of trouble. 
You were sweating. You said, someone said, should we order the next 20? And I almost said, wait. <laughs> I almost said, wait, but I didn't. And here I am. So I've got a fresh 20. I've got three large Coke Zeros, which I will probably need to get me through. We'll be tagging the shit out of McDonald's here. I would like to- um, Yeah, hopefully we can I'll get a- I would like to just shout out the fact that your app doesn't work and I can't sign up and I can't scam my chance card. But while you're here, Scoey, can, congratulations on winning this Simply the Best Moment oh, of the Year, mate. Have another mate. one. Uh, have another chance card. Well, I want to fucking scan them. It won't let me in on the app. Have another chance card. Uh, just wait two seconds while I what, give Whatever you... happened to like the double? Have a like Trafalgar yeah, Square. Large. Wow, there you two go. On the large. Yeah, you used to get two on the larges. Oh, yeah, man. you did used to get two on the larges. Let's see what we got on this next one here. You still do. Scoey, give yourself uh, right. Liverpool Station, mate. Have that. Is there a um? And as I as I pull out my last pack of nugs, I think could, I think one of those drinks might be a Sprite for me, Hammer. Could you have a little gander? At I that? will, mate. Just give me one second while Scoey gets his final chance card. Well done. Okay. All right. Uh, Twenty nugs to go. Or am I just sipping on these bastards? This one. Okay. Jeez, I would have loved a Sprite. Didn't th didn't know they were going. So I'll I, um. I'll just, yeah. I'll snack myself. It's all right. There you go. <laughs> Oh, wow. No straws. You said that. We read it. Can we put that away? No straws. Absolutely excruciating for people listening to the podcast. <laughs> Sorry. I'm well, everyone's. Rifling through a fucking paper bag. Right. Uh, There's no straws. That's Jesus right. Christ. I think. Oh, look. They're doing like little takeaway coffee cups. Jeez, that of feels good. Bits. That's the second win that I needed. Uh, hey, um, hey Jaden. Can you walk into my kitchen? Of course, we are at Hocking for the Simply the Best episode uh, out front of my pool. Head into the kitchen, mate, and grab a cup. I'm going to I'm gonna share this Sprite with Scoey because I think he's upset about that. Um, and I've got a large and I don't need it. I also uh, have some Big Mac sauce, which is huge for the program. Ooh, That'll be the last 10, good. I think, if I can find a way there. All right, here we go. On to, uh, uh, nugget 81, well done, Hammer. So you said we read it. You said like we read it. Look. There was a lack of you sentence last week, and I feel like I saw a lot coming yeah, in. Yeah, thank you very much. Hello. I hope you featured quite a lot, Nick, because there were some good ones. Yeah, hello at backchatpodcast.com.au. Please send us an email, and we'll read it if it's good. Thanks to Liverpool Cameras. We're probably getting back to the stage where we, we read them all. Very yeah, good. probably, probably. Um, Most are good these days. We, we packed up our studio in Mount Hawthorne. We took it on a big, big trek up north of the state to Hocking, uh, where my pool is, and here we go. Oh, Do you think a... people know where your pool is yet? I mean, you've said where it is about 10 times. And you keep saying it's your pool. Can you say it right? It's yeah. your dad's pool. My, my father's pool. Um, <laughs> it's my father's pool. Uh, so enjoy your, your Sprite there, mate. I apologise, Dino, because we're not talking about that. Yeah, no, but Dino's my real father. Steve is my uh, adopted father. Uh, you send it, we read it. <laughs> you call them both dad. <laughs> I, called, I actually called my dad Dino sometimes. When he doesn't um, listen to me, I say dad. Sure. Uh, let's read this first email from Kelly. Hello, guys, and especially Dan. Very good. Uh, I've been a patron for a while and have never felt ready to email up until now. Your podcast has gone from my favorite listen whilst walking the dog to what keeps me sane in the wee hours of the morning, breastfeeding a baby that has struggled with laryngomalacia and reflux. Well, okay? good. I'm glad to be of Glad we could help with that. Uh, during this journey, I have strangely found myself horrified, yet accepting that I share many of Dan's traits, including skipping. And here in Adelaide... The horn honking is essential. So skipping and horn honking, I'm glad that's what I'm providing to society. Uh, prior, prior to having my baby, Michael Pryor, um, prior to having my baby, uh, I used to compete in weightlifting. Oh, I used to compete in weightlifting. Oh, damn. Up, <laughs> me. Up one night at 2 a.m., having finished the weekly episode of the pod, I tuned into the Weightlifting World Championships to watch the under 71 kilo women's session. Yeah. So you do. Absolutely. Uh, it contained a number of my favorite athletes, including an absolute gun, Olivia Reeves. She's good from America, I think. Uh, You've just made that up. <laughs> so she she lifts and proceeds to skip off the stage like a happy six-year-old girl. It was a joy to watch, and I feel that Dan and the rest of the crew would benefit from knowing that the one of that one of the strongest women in the world also skips. Uh, oh, whilst she the stream, skips off the stage. Yeah, whilst the stream of her lift is no longer available, I've popped a link to an Instagram reel of her skipping below. Cheers, Kelly. And P.S. For those wondering, you can still extract sperm to create a baby after the snip. It's called a TESA procedure. So really bloody informative. Email. Thank you, thank you, Kelly. Kelly, Appreciate. Kelly. I hope breastfeeding's going well. Glad to keep you awake uh, with some of Dan's rambling and. That's big from you, Kelly. Oh my God! You can't even speak. <laughs> what nugget are you up to now? I've lost count. I think I'm at like 80, 85. Oh. Very you, good. You need to do a little update, right? Eighty-seven, isn't that the uh, the bad luck number mm. for batting? Eighty-seven. Got to get what past I feel that. Like Devil's number mm -hmm. is right now. 
I'm breaking it down and I'm eating little schnitzels. That's what I feel. <laughs> I'm going to eat a hundred little schnitzels. That sounds like more. Yeah, but like it makes me feel better about myself. <laughs> okay. 100 mini schnitzels. This is the Sand Overlet medalist, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, this is from Stephen. Hi, Diddly Ho, Neighborinos. <laughs> yes. Ever since Adam Thorpe's name was mentioned many ep- in many episodes, <laughs> I've always wondered if he's the same Adam Thorpe I went to high school with. After Did da- you go to a par- his birthday party where you watched uh, Blu-ray DVDs or whatever the hell they were? <laughs> After Dan's great f- uh, Facebook stalking last week and found where he worked, it was confirmed it's the same guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Most popular man in the world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Can I get you in contact with him? And guess what? <laughs> yes. I absolutely cannot. I'm sorry, <laughs> fellas. Uh, also, I find Dan $2 for going MIA with the Backchat basketball show. NBL is back on and NBA is about to be in full swing. Dan, pull your finger out. I know Ben is traveling the world, but I hear you do your best work alone. All my love, Stephen. Hey, you know what he's saying there? Yes. <laughs> I understand. Is he correct? Yeah, he's very good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's very good. So just a quick update on that. There is something brewing with Backchat Basketball Show. I'm pissing we'll, me off a little bit, actually. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get it sorted <laughs> ASAP. But we have, we're we definitely doing a new season of the show in some form, Um yeah, anyways, uh, this next one's from Dan Johns. Hi, guys. I was just listening to episode 120 where Dan mentioned his snip story and how his mates warned of an infection. Uh, I'm not sure what type of procedure Dan had, but my snip was scalpelless, uh, a scalpelless procedure and didn't even need a stitch. Pretty much had a glorified Band-Aid over the puncture hole, which didn't even bleed, and I had to walk like a cowboy for about a week. Well, Dan, are using lasers or something. Dan, I've had I had the same one. I had the same procedure that you're talking about. Uh, it was uncomfortable but not painful. It took about three to four weeks before feeling normal again. Probably two to three weeks of swelling. No infection. Would definitely recommend. Uh, keep creating good content. Kind regards, Dan. How is your cock and balls? Uh, I I think I'm almost back to feeling normal again, which is which is uh, huge. which is great, which is huge. <laughs> which is huge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, massive uh, No infection <laughs> Nugget feeling? number Nugget on, number I want to update I want, Do you want to update Your people on the Instagram um, yeah, Tell will. us all Keep going <coughs> I'll Excuse read this me. next one You might well, oh, nah, I'm, voice I'm ready Oh you're ready Alright Here we go I'm oh, sorry I need to turn the camera around Um. Oh wow You you are speaking out of your teeth you're at Right There's now There's so much grease on that There's microphone There's grease on my screen <laughs> I apologise There's grease on the microphone There's grease on the microphone I'm at nugget number 88 Oh, he's past 87. I'm 88 nuggets. You went hard, those eight. I've got, I'm eyeballing 12 nuggets and it looks like a fucking mountain. It looks like a lot of nuggets. How are you feeling? I'm feeling shithouse not fatal in the words of, um, in the words of Jack Buckley. But shout out Jack, shout out Jack Buckley. If, if he's told me anything, if he has taught me anything this year, it's that speak. no matter what happens, even if all hope seems lost and you're three votes off with one round to go, you can finish strong and win the back chat back mid of the year. So <laughs> channeling my inner Jack Buckley here. Oh, wow. Shout out Jack Buckley. You're pulling all strings. I'm going to pull out all the stops. I'm going to channel Buckley Jack Buckley, Buckley pull out all the stops and get 100 nuggets done. Come on. Let's go, Let's baby. Let's go. Come on. 12 more. You can do this. Let's read an email from Todd. G'day, lads. Uh, have North been given too much and should their crybaby supporters be ashamed of themselves? <laughs> First question. Um, have a look at their draft hand, pre and post assistance and compo. Plus add in Darcy Tucker, Griffin Logue, Zach Fisher, and Dylan Stevens. Two former first round picks. Ah, there's a moth in my eye. It's out. We're back. Mm. Uh, that is effectively what they, they've been handed for free because they have managed their cl- club so poorly. I think the assistance packages are terrible for the game and they completely compromise the draft as an equalization tool. Can't wait to... Can't wait to watch Harley Reid, the boy, and Hewitt run rings around them for the next 10 years. Rant over. Have a good one. Todd. You know what, Todd? I think you've bloody hit that, the nail on the head here. North Melbourne, they have a bunch of whinging supporters, don't they? Like, have you ever heard a positive North Melbourne supporter? No. They just carry on and bitch and moan and shout out to all the North Melbourne supporters. And if supporters. you question anything around the draft um, or, this year. Or yeah. shout out their supporters of like whinging and moaning. I mean, West Coast fans aren't much better. If you call you guys out, you carry on like pork chops as well. They are. Every fan base is the same. Yeah, correct. But North Melbourne, I mean, could you have been given any more? How many more compensatory picks do you want to get? How much How much of a bonus do you want to get for Ben Mackay? Like the bloke did not poll in the back chat back of the year award. So- do you want wow. me to say anything else? Seriously. Gee. Jack Buckley did, and I'm going to win it because of him. Imagine what Buckley would get. Buckley would get pick one in the draft. Absolutely. Just give him pick one. 
Time's at 100. Uh, hello, Legends. This is from Saxon. After hearing the pod, I've become increasingly excited about the prospect of fisting for back chat. <laughs> However, I currently live in Victoria, so I can't make the tryouts, but I was wondering if I could send some footage of me working on the art of fisting yeah. so I could still be a part of the yeah. team that plays at National Champs. Yeah, you can, mate. Wondering if this was at all possible. Yes. Saxon. And Saxon's a long-time listener. In fact, we know Saxon. 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 <laughs> we know Saxon. Yeah. So, so last name um, is Kobe, pronounce it. Uh, we would like to... I, I'd like to put it out there. We're calling all fisting videos. We, we want we want to yeah. see some fisting. Yep. Send in your fists. You know what? I might just go onto the internet and tonight and just search fisting videos yes. just so that I can see if there's more people around Australia doing it. Just I, I think, think send in your fisting videos yep. to, to Dan's personal Instagram yep. and then we can showcase some of the show next week. Yeah, yep. I'm 90 sure. nuggets in, by the way, everybody. <laughs> 90, wow. 10 to go. You know when I said before that I was 88 and I was channeling Jack Buckley? Mm-hmm. That's two times. His number's 44, double Jack Buckley. So it'll take two Jack Buckleys to get this done, and that's where I'm at. I've got 10 feeling? to go. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I um, you're, 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 you're I great. feel like I'm about to be quite flatulent in the next 10 to 15 minutes. <laughs> are we allowing him a spew? Nah, God, no, God. After spew and you're done. Uh, yeah. Oh, afterwards. Yeah, yeah. But I've got to get through these next 10. But okay. uh, I've got the Big Mac sauce, so that's going to be huge. But I feel like it's pretty empty. It hasn't given me... Yep, there's in not a whole t- lot in there. T- wow. That is that is quite that's pitiful. Give that, a, give that a little Instagram look at yeah, the Yeah, I will. So, for, um, yeah, anyway, while you're doing that, I'm going to get the next email up. Yeah. Uh, this is from Peter Kemp. G'day, fisters. <laughs> Looking forward to following your fisting journey. Yes. I've got a couple of thoughts to share. Firstly... Although he's a forward and although he may be contractually restricted from contributing in a playing sense, I reckon the former Australian junior volleyball, volleyball prodigy, Oscar Allen, wow. would be a keen and valuable member on the coaching panel. That was his greatest sporting achievement, not on the football field. Of course. He Second was a thing. national volleyballer. Yeah, that's right. That's Secondly, a great shout. I think there's only one team name that will do you guys justice. Yes. The back fists. Yeah, it's very, it's good. very, good. It's very mm. good. Keep up the good work. Fist hard, fist fair. I like that. Uh, I like that well, a lot, I like Peter that Kemp. slogan. Yeah. Yeah. I do love that. I'm just going to quickly jump in here. Sorry about that. Go for it, mate. Ten nugs. Um, so I got ten nuggets to go. And as I said, everybody, the, the Big Mac sauce would be a big uh, big thing for me big to come team. home. Let me have a look at how much Big Mac sauce I've got. Oh. Are you fucking serious? Like that is nothing. What it's wa- is wafer this? thin. It's Wonderoo. In there. Wonderoo McDonald's. Wonderoo McDonald's. Have a good hard fucking look at yourself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten nuggets to go. I am nearly there. Come on. Just had to get a snap here of Hammer and his boxes of nugs there. Uh, I love the really, fistball really good get aroundingness from our community. So it is just yep. a reminder, November 11th will be Tryouts. the open day. Yep. Tryouts. Uh, it is a festival of fists down in Mount Hawthorne, the Florida Athena. Just been followed by Marcus Winhager, who's obviously a big fan of the Nugget story. So oh, shout out to Marcus great. if you're listening we along at home. Going absolutely viral. <laughs> Hope you're taking the fuck out of back chat. Uh, I sure am. Uh, Fisting, yeah. November 11 at Florida Athena in uh, it's Mount Hawthorne. Yeah, I think, um, we've, got, if, I think if, we've gone with 3 p.m. Yeah, yeah. So and we'll, we'll put some beers on. 5 p.m. beers. Hang out. 3 p.m. tryouts. 5 p.m. beers. If, if you if you want to just be involved uh, and you don't feel like you're physically capable of fisting. Or being on the team, come down as well. Yeah. Like it would just be a fun time hanging out. I'd be surprised if there were many people rolling around that couldn't throw a fist left, right, center. Yeah, like that. Like everyone can fist. I so we we brought some stuff here from the studio, including the fist ball, which is somewhere in my house somewhere. So I have to make sure you give it back. But Beck had the ball, and she was like, thought it was incredible. She and enjoyed she the threw fisting. the ball, threw the ball up. First thing she did, just fisted, fisted it. it. Yeah, good form. Born fister. Yeah, a born fister. There you go. Uh, tomorrow's guest is. Andrew, AJ, Ty, uh, here she is. Uh, AJ, Ty, uh, the first of our Scorchers guests that we will be rolling out over the next little while, oh, of James course. James excited. What's, what's happened, mate? Well, James watching the cricket. Australia's walking okay. out to bat for me no on my 90 second night. Like you do, James. <laughs> Uh, AJ Ty tomorrow has some of the um, all-time cricket stories. He's got so many of them. Um, he talks about Cooper Connolly winning the final last year, which was epic. Um and I really enjoyed like I didn't know I was kosher. I was like, how much the most you made in one year in cricket? And he just went bang. Yeah. Bang. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that in, that India um the IPL auction. Yeah. I mean he was he was like out of game. Bowling of Virat. Virat's got his measure basically. Virat's got his measure. Yeah. There. A lot of good stories there. AJ Ty comes out tomorrow and uh of course more scorches on the way with our partnership. Sorry, no, our collaboration. Our it's collab. our 
Oh, well, I'm certainly not. Par- a, it's partisanal not, agreement. It's, it's certainly not. No, a, it's not. It's not that word. It's a collaboration. It's a project with the Perth Scorchers uh, over their season. Hammer, how many nuggets you got left? I got eight left, and I'm hurting. Eight left. What's the, the Big Mac most? sauce was shit out. I don't, I'm not even finishing it. It's gross. <laughs> Could, I've seen Joey Chestnut dip dip the hot dog in the water and just swallow them. I'm dipping it in the Coke Zero in a second. Yeah, I've good. just gone off mic again and I've dropped my headphones because I need to dial in for the next eight. Yeah, that's uh, cool, mate. You do you. Do you, uh, me, do you want me to video you doing some of this? No. We will have some fines in a second. So when you, when you get your thoughts together. Give us your phone. Uh, You're going to have to put your headphones in, mate, to listen to those fines. Yeah. You? While Hammer's just getting his uh, S together, I'm going to give you one little quick reminder. If you've got a pool, put it up on Swimply. Win a giant duck. Okay. Get some cash. Earn some cash over summer. Thanks Mate. for Swimply to put in, for putting this year together. I mean, Swimply's yeah. been right behind the They've podcast, the so you get behind them, right? Yeah, get you behind get them. right behind them. Do you know how much it costs to run a pool? Honestly, my bill's crazy. Well, not so, anymore. Not anymore. It's your dad's anymore. bill. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pass win for the first time. <sighs> Hope you heard that. Thanks, Hammer. <laughs> Last eight nugs. Uh, All right, let's get that first fine underway. Maybe this will help you get through. Hey fellas, had a two dollar fine lined up for Scoey. Gonna have to reverse that and give it to myself though. Cause there I was at the Charles Friday night, waiting for the Southern River Band, mm. thinking to myself, Scoey's bitched it, he's a no show. Only for him to be the bloody hype man introduced the band. Yep. Also, chop me another two bucks for thinking there's no way Hammer's here too. Next minute Mr. Sandover's on the stage giving it the big one. Hell of a night though, no. both bands were fantastic. Won't doubt you guys again. Cheers boys. Yeah, buddy, cop that two dollar fine. Great accent. Great accent. And yeah, I did call him out. It was a bit embarrassing, really, but um, that no, was good. Right. Everyone loved it. Yeah. Um, uh, how are we uh, how are we going there, Hamish? I've got seven nuggets to go. He's got yeah. seven nuggets to go. He's struggling. Of He's off microphone He's in a world right of pain. now. Hmm. He's hunched over. If you do that, you lose. I know. I'll get it done. You can do it. You've got this, mate. We believe in you. We're proud of you. Well done, mate. Let's get the next fine. G'day, boys. It's Marto from Melbourne. A fine for each of you pricks for introducing me to fisting. (laughs) What a game. But, Jeepers, I'm in trouble with HR because I looked it up on my PC (laughs) and the laptop rang a few alarm bells and now I'm answering some questions. So $2 (laughs) fine to each of you, (laughs) buddies. Sorry, mate. No, I love that. Straight into it. Dan had no trouble. He'd already, browser history already been all over it. <laughs> Good. G'day, legends. And Scoey. It's <laughs> Ivor here. Ivor Backus. Um, just a quick three bucket to you, Will. You uh, had potential today at the AFLW to make some seven, maybe eight year old kids' dreams come true as they were ecstatic. To be meeting their, their hero. It's a two dollar fine for Nicholas. Been. We've already heard this fine. <laughs> Unlucky Nick. That is a two dollar fine, my friends. Double it. Make Thank it four you bucks. Very much for not paying attention to your own fines, Nick. That's it. That's a fucking don't fucking lie to me like that. Don't fines. fucking lie to me like that. If you go to backchatpodcast.com.au. Don't lie to me like there's that. There's a section called fines. If I fucking find more fines than two there's, fines on the there's a section. There's a what, section there. You use your phone. Me. You record it. You send it. It's so simple. We've made it that easy for you. Send your fines in. Find Nick. Man, oh. Hammer is just grimacing. I'm the pain. world of hurt. I have six nuggets to go. You can't not finish now. Oh, mate. You know what would be a real like strong move? Going to 99, just going nut. I don't want it anymore. Done. <laughs> I don't even want this. Shane Warren couldn't get there. <laughs> um, we need to hang around for a while um, while Hammer finishes. We need... The patrons actually, you know can what? find it. This is for patrons. Patrons, oh. this is just for you. I'm going to get off mic and finish these next. No, I'm gonna, you're going to stay with the podcast. Yeah, but I, need to walk, I need to stand up because <laughs> these otherwise won't get in. So if you would like to see where the Hamish finishes the we 100 don't, We challenge. don't film the patron, do we? We don't. But it's you good. know what? This one, we, 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 we will. will. Yeah. Absolutely. We, will. we might have, hey, have don't, a look. No, no. Sit down and you say bye to our beautiful audience. Just have to listen to you. Scoff your face full. <laughs> yeah. You know, look, I know you're in a bad way, but that's your own fault. It's someone else's fault, but you It own. is my own fault. Now to everyone listening at home who has backed me in. Uh, thank you. I've got six to go. And uh, do you want my password? Sorry. It's yeah. I just told you on air. That's okay. Um, 
for everybody. Oh, Sky, are you going to film this? Yeah, hang on. Just swipe now, mate. You know, no, Sky's no. figuring out how to use Instagram. Uh, you go for it, you fella. For everybody watching uh, and who has been carrying along, I'm on 94 Nuggets. Uh, this podcast is over, but I will get to 100. I have six to go, uh, and I'm going to get it done. So follow me at Sugar Braid to figure out how many I've got. But please, just know this. With six nuggets to go, I will find a way to nug on. Nug on, mate. Back to that podcast. <laughs> Thanks to Fleet Network as well. I mean, <laughs> yeah. the power of the Swimply. podcast. Swimply. Swimply the best. We're here. Put your pull up on Swimply. Blue bet. Blue bet. Margaret River Roasting Co. Leadable cameras. Lydia and Dan are still going to fight. Shelter. Shelter Brewing Co. Whipper I think snapper. that Whippersnapper Whiskey. Pretty sure that's it. Mumba Once again, Mumba Digital. You need a website. Go on, get yourself a website. <laughs> but Swimply the best and Fleet Network powering the podcast. But Swimply, I'm going to go jump in the pool in about five minutes because Dan's put one up finally. Swimply the best.